Hello everybody and welcome back to game two of this evening of our Sip Taker live stream. Uh, this is producer Tim back with some commentary and what we'll do is we'll pop onto the table, uh, solo to the players, oh let's put the game on the screen that might help and uh, yeah see where we are. So two seconds. The map, oh there they are. Hey guys uh, you're now live on uh, the stream, welcome. Hello. Hello. So we have Demetrius and we have Elliot, who've uh, very kindly agreed to come on. Is this a Sif Taker League game, is it? It is. Yes. We're in the in the Mandalorian League, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So um, what we'll do is uh, we'll let you get on with uh, setup and everything like that. So best of luck. And uh, yeah, we'll chat to you shortly. Sure. Thanks. So. Uh... Right, so I'm here now. Am I on live? Yeah, you're live. Okay. My <laughs> tabletop's just crashed. I'm just getting it back up. Okay, no worries. So, well, we'll, we'll have a look at the list first, and we'll go over to the lovely uh, TNX Squadron uh, board that uh, Demetrius has brought in for himself. Uh, so, this is the Scum and Villainy list. Uh, we have L337 in the... Uh, what's it called? Escape, sh Escape Craft, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, we've got Dengar in the Jumpmaster with Swarm tas Tactics, Proton Torps, Auto Blaster, Maul, Contraband Cybernetics, and then we've got Bosk in the Party Bus with uh, Lando Calrissian, Perceptive Co-Pilot, Greedo. We've got a Hull Upgrade because 9 wasn't enough to start with. <laughs> uh, we've got a Trick Shot. Uh, yeah, lots of toys there. So lots of little uh, tricks there and yeah very nice list and then over on the resistance we've got a four ship resistance list uh so we've got finn in the pod fairly standard finn build although it has got advanced optics so that's not often something you see uh but heroic and perceptive co-pilot works well with finn's ability i think that's the same one as the one that um is it Kalen wong did well with at worlds with the yeah. finn that's because you like something stupid, like ninety-eight percent of the time, going to get three hits. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I, I and and advanced optics works well with Finn's ability because he can just add a blank uh, rather than add the focus to spend it. I guess, uh, and then obviously taking the strain. Uh, we've got uh, Kaz in the fireball. Uh, so this is the uh, fireball that uh, rolls one extra red or green dice if it had if the pilot's initiative is higher than number of damage cards, which. Uh, which will work well because obviously you got uh, Dengar. Uh, I guess it won't work on Swarm Tactics though, will it? Because if he Swarm Tactics one of the others up to six, there's st it's still going to be the printed pilot uh, initiative. Uh, you got an R5 Astromech there, which is uh, repairing face down damage cards, which obviously we'll see a lot on that fireball. Uh, ZZ just with Heroic. That's interesting, not having advanced optics on the A-Wing, but having it on Finn. So, interesting. And then a very uh, naked Ray, which I need to be careful about saying. Uh, Bob, D <laughs> would, Bob D would have a heart attack if he heard that. Uh, and it's just Ray with the title. But that seems a pretty decent list. So the players are currently in the middle of setting up. So I think that expl um, Kaz's ability would work with Swarm Tactics. Because it just says... So Swarm Tactics says, um, at the start of engagement phase, you may choose one friendly ship, and it says um, that trip, sh trip ship treats its initiative as equal to yours until the end of the round. End of the yeah, event. So it would be classed as a six. Mm, yeah. And it, it doesn't think, mention think, anything. I'm just thinking, so, like, I'm, when you consider stuff like uh, when they look at speeds of maneuvers, that's off the reveal dial, isn't it? But that yeah, but be... th that actually meant that actually says though about the revealed maneuver, whereas this just says it's initiative. It, it doesn't mention anything about the printed initiative. Or... Yeah, okay. I, I'll be honest. I'm not really giving it an awful lot of thought. No, I, was, I only just looked at it. again. Yeah, it's amazing if you just read the cards. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cool, cool, cool. This uh, is the, the voice of uh, Tim King, our local TO. Yeah. I'm, quite, I'm I'm kind of sem- <laughs> semi retired, aren't I? Now I'm not TOing much. You're you're yeah, t- you're, you're TOing more than I am. No one asks me real questions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so let's get a post done for Facebook. So go on then. Where's your money on in this game? Um, so quite like that resistance list. Um, I do, but the double but tapping torpedo concerns me. I I also really really just love a party bus. So I'm going party bus. And also, um, last time I played uh, old old Jester, his dice was so ridiculously bad. I feel that they're going to be super hot this time to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the way it works in X-wing. So the point where that this is how bad his dice was. A fully modified proton torpedo against my Tie Fighter did zero damage. Not good. So... No, it was ridiculously bad. So yeah, I am just in the middle of doing a Facebook post, so feel free to uh, fill the air. What do you want me to sing or do a freestyle <laughs> rap? <laughs> yeah, so I'm I I actually expected to see the um, the escape craft over towards Dengar, to be honest. Um, has it got a hand on there? I've forgotten. Uh, yes. Yeah, so he's got Maul on Dengar. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the the what we see is like the standard Dengar build now usually has uh, Lee on there with him, so we're not going to have that really good dial. Yeah, I mean that's what we've seen re- uh, recently, haven't we? With that uh, the sort of the Dengar uh, Bobber builds that have been doing quite well. Uh, yeah, putting uh, yeah Lee on the. Um, the the jump master to open up that dial. So, it's, if, if just asking if the rotator start, I've said yeah. Yeah. Just wait for them to start their clock. Oh, they look like they're setting their dials. Um. Oh, here we go. It looks like they're about ready. Go uh, live with game two. Yep. Cool. So we've got Elfie's just moved out. Just coordinating. Yeah. This is it. So like she'll just you know probably uh, hang back and just yeah give some extra actions, won't she? So it's Finn first. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that A Wing's just going to say no and turn away. Because it's easy as well, isn't it? Yeah. I quite like all these little um, sort of resistant salads we're seeing now uh, round and about. Yeah. Um, I know Rich, Rich Polly had been flying a, a bit of a sort of a resistance, low initiative one. Um, I think it was a lot of generics, a couple of named ones, but it was a good list. Just looking at what the, um, the fireball does. So this particular fireball is the rolling the extra red dice. Um... Oh, no, I was sorry, I, I meant I was looking at its pilot ability thing, the um, explosion with wings. Yeah. So it starts the game with a face down damage card, which ha- he hasn't got the title, so he can't choose it. So it could be any damage card in the deck. Um, but then you can flip a card to get rid of your disarm token, can't you? Yeah. That's quite cool. But this is where you need to be careful. Like If you take the title, you can pick, uh, I think it's a ship trait. Um, so there's a few which aren't terrible, like... You might decide to eye on yourself or something like that. Uh, Cool. Facebook post is done. People can now 
do that. Uh, anybody watching want to let us know if the audio is coming through okay? We got there's like seven viewers at the moment. Uh, who's got first player? Did you see? Um, no. So but see, I think just looking for clashes. Uh, so but... he moved. He moved his um, resistance ships before Busk, didn't he? I think. Yeah. So I think. Uh, yeah, I've got Elliot down as first player, but that's actually the token from last time. But that's fine. Cool. Looks like the audio is fine, which is good. So yeah, last game of the evening. If you missed game one, we had a, a Galactic Republic list of Anakin in the Y wing, Obi Wan and Plo versus uh, Resistance list with Paige in the uh, Star Fortress bomber, and ZZ and uh, Nine Num in the T uh, seventy. That will be available on Twitch for a good couple of weeks if you want to watch it back, and eventually we'll obviously get the game uploaded to YouTube as well. Uh, so if you haven't done already, please uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and you can watch all the games that we've been streaming over the last however many weeks. Yeah, <laughs> too long. Oh. Well, this is it, isn't it? You know, it is where we are with the new normal, and you know, obviously, you can't play in person. So at least, at least, we've got TTS, which allows us to play online. True. This is it. I was uh, at work today doing uh, staff appraisals and what have you, and I was chatting to somebody about it. And unfortunately, I think you know we're going to be in this situation till spring next year, at least. You know, we're not going to see anything loosen up before we hit flu season over the no. winter so no i can't see things changing but this is it uh, i think you know it's not ideal for people but you know if you haven't tried tts uh, i would recommend it I, I i find it quite quite a useful thing i don't play an awful lot of it maybe a game a week unless i've signed up to one of dion's all weekend events <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now i've been quite enjoying it playing in a few leagues and a few competitions I have definitely cut back on TTS a lot since the start of lockdown. I'm having an absolutely rubbish uh, run in the league this year. I think I'm 0-4. Um, I've still got two games to play that I've missed. Yeah. I, even <laughs> I, I even tried hard and took my Ray list to the last game and still lost. But, uh, I've, I've got, I've got <laughs> Matt, Matt Cog this round and I heard he's going to be nice to me, but we'll, we'll wait and see. <laughs> So those, the big um, scum ships move up quite fast, don't they? Really. That's it. Yeah, you know that. You know what you can do, like three banks or four forwards with them, and with a large base, you end up throwing it forward quite, quite a distance. And that's where Zizi needs to be careful, because if she doesn't dial in that five forward or whatever, she could easily get caught. Like Denga now might take a target lock here. Oh. -ho -ho. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to get the double tap because uh, Zizi, if she could shoot, would. Definitely not. <laughs> It'd be silly to do that. But, you know, it's, it's shots he doesn't want to be taking. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Matt, is that you're out because you've got good news to reveal, or is it out because you, you're still waiting? But we'll wait and see. I don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. It's all cryptic. <laughs> cryptic on open mic. Uh, so, yeah, we got Dengar taking a shot at ZZ and... That's where's it? Oh, it's been moving the dice over to one side. Okay, so the arc is out the side. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a proton top. He's got four red dice here. Oh, he's moving them back in. There we yeah, go. That's fine. Uh, so, four red dice, and... Uh, oh, he's going to spend that. He's going to spend that one, isn't he? Yeah, hit two crits, spend yeah. the target lock. He has got a mall force as well, oh, if he needs it there. Oh, we're going to see another yeah. sad A-wing, I think. Oh, hitting three crits. Yeah, now she's, oh. got, she's got an evade token, but no focus, unfortunately. So, that's going to be not, two shields. It's not super bad, I guess. So, none of the crits have gone through. They haven't, but that's half points on ZZ again. We saw this last game, didn't we, when yeah. uh, ZZ lost her shields. She takes a focus token. I'm guessing, uh, again, it's a, a little bit of, like, 
Obviously, Zizi's, they've managed to catch Zizi, but usually Zizi's the trap here. You chase around throwing just out pot shots at her, and you know, nothing happens. Because usually, um, Zizi's got focus and an evade. But that's it. Imagine that. One, imagine one, one less picture there, and you would have, uh, you know, taken a crit, and we all know what A Wings uh, draw for their first <laughs> crit. Yeah, it's always a direct, it's the rule. So we just got a couple of follows there, thank you. Uh, if you want to see something special, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel, maybe with your Twitch Prime and you can get a Dancing Ben uh, will come up on the screen. <laughs> I think it works with donations as well, but yeah, you know. Ben doesn't dance for free. <laughs> I do for pints, though. Well, that's, yeah, it's not, not for oh. Oh, half pints. You know, <laughs> or, or drinks you've had a drink of and got bored of. I'm, I'm not that fussed. <laughs> Need to zoom the camera out because we've got a ship top and bottom, so I'm just cutting them out ever so slightly. So, uh, yeah, we've got Lee just hiding up at the top there, uh, exactly where she should be. Yeah, sat behind a big boy, didn't he? You no, know, protect it. We haven't actually seen a lot of the um, autopilot drone since... Um, I think it did it go up in points, or was it Bobber and everything else went up in points that it was with? I can't Could remember you... now. Um... No, I can't. You used to see a lot though, didn't you? Of Bobber, the autopilot, not the autopilot, the Lee. Well, you, in the yeah, you did, the ships you did see actually the autopilot. The escape. Yeah, you, it's, yeah, escape craft. You did see the autopilot see the, drone for a it's bit. The escape craft. Yeah, not. As, but you used to see the Bobber that, and then Fen, and then people realised that it was just better to. Drop that and have a bid. Mm. Which really is a party bus, isn't it? <laughs> I, I see they've uh, released the uh, spoiler article for the Thai Heavy. Yeah, I had a quick look at it. I mean, I, I buy everything anyway, so I tend not to read them that much because I know I'm going to buy it already. <laughs> I quite like the surprise of opening my, uh, my pack up and seeing what I've actually bought. And some Unless someone tells me something's going to be really good with like three of them, and then I buy three, yeah, and then I'm sad because it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good until the next points update. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so this is in. So we're starting to get a little bit of outflanking because we could see a slam. I think here. Um, Kaz is going to slam maybe, and so we are. Yeah, this is flip. Yeah, get rid of, repairing that face down damage card with uh, the is it R four P? R five. R five. So R four P was in the last game, wasn't it? I can't remember, man. They all sound the same. Ah, <laughs> uh, somethings. I like them better when they have more fun names like Chopper. Easy to remember. Well, that's really the way I like it, because my memory's rubbish. <laughs> I mean, Dengar's probably hitting a gas cloud, isn't he? Yeah. Like, no matter what, I, I can't see any way that he doesn't get it. Ooh, Ray wants to play. Didn't see a slam though, so the action was just to repair that damage card on the fireball. Yeah, I guess it gives it that. Um, you might as well get rid of it. Unless if you, you no, know, if you're not planning on doing the slamming thing very often. I know most people I've seen fly the fireball. That one tend to get rid of it on the first turn or some turn later before actual combat. Really interested to see what Dengar does. I think they're just trying to decipher where all these focus tokens have come from. So I think Finn's been uh, showing them out. <laughs> so okay, hard two fits. Nice. I didn't expect that. Which is going to be uh, interesting for Finn and Ray because obviously there could be a double tap yeah. here. So taking a target lock and popping it on Finn. <laughs> Dengar, say now. Is it, uh, yeah, so you have to go back at the person who shot you, don't you? 
Well, this is it. So I'd be tempted to put it into Ray. Now you only get one torp shot into her. I could say I'd probably put it into Ray because you might possibly get the the second attack. Yeah. Because here she's, you're not getting a, a tap anyway. Well, she's rolling less green dice. Like Finn can just be an utter git with his with his defense dice there, couldn't he? Yeah. He could just roll. Th- he could effectively get three evades, three evades. With, with I mean, you, his... you, you're quite likely to strip all of Ray's shields. Yeah, yeah. She's not got. She's not got any of this. Finn shenanigans or anything like that. Well, she's only got three shields as well. So if he torps with the first shot, yeah, um, and then that may may make Ray really think about whether or not she wants to shoot uh, Dengar. Cat wants to get on again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The cat has to be extra nice, you see, because Willow didn't come and say goodnight. Yeah, I, yeah, I missed that. It's just like going wake her up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure your missus would appreciate that. <laughs> I'm should be in our bed later on anyway. Okay, so it looks like we've uh, swarm, swarm Tactics Bosk up. Ah, uh, I see. I was going to say, what's going on here? So I imagine you take the range free into Finn here. I mean, I suppose, I don't know. well, I mean, maybe ZZ, because ZZ can't afford to have a bad roll. Goes at least this way as well. You you getting the Greedo to flip down straight away. Oh, uh, he's got trick shot here as well, so he's getting the extra red dice. Oof. So two hits. That becomes a crit. One of them will become a crit. Yeah. yeah so he's rolled that. Uh, oh, he's Landoing. What's that? Spend a green token. So he's you, it's a re-roll two. Oh. Oh, rolls two eyeballs, and then with his perceptive co-pilot says, I'll make that three hits and a crit. Uh, oh, so is this Finn, isn't it? So he's rolled two eyes, two blanks so far. So he could add an eye result. He'll still take one damage here. And he'll take a strain as well, won't he? Okay. Uh, what's he done? Taking the strain, but it looks like he's only added the blank. No, he's only taken one damage, so he must have. Ah, but then he's bossed the one of the crits, so that's gonna be shield hit into uh, uh, Finn. Too many things going on for my brain to think about this time of night. All the tricks. Yeah, so that was a half point on Finn already. So, Dengar probably next to fire a torpedo. And Dengar gets uh, two hits, eyeball blank. So, we'll spend the lock on the blank. Oh, I don't think. I think we'll have to force some more, but. Don't think we've got anything there. That looks like two and a crit into Ray. Ray rolls her evade and gets a blank. Uh, probably spend a force. Yeah, spend a force using Ray's ability where she can turn a blank to an eyeball. But uh, sorry, blank to a, an evade. So Ray's got a range two shot back at Dengar if she wants it. Looks like reaching for dice, so we're going to take it. Uh, what did Ray? Ray lost two shields there, didn't she? Okay, so Ray is attacking and gets uh, two crits and a hit, which is uh, <laughs> pretty decent. Uh, one evade from Dengar, so we're going to lose two shields and possibly taking a stress. 
to get the force back on wall. Yep. So take a stress, get the force, and are we going to see a revenge shot? Possibly might leave the revenge shot now for Finn, because Finn's only got... Uh, Yes, yeah, so we spent the target lot with the proton torps. So there's, there's no difference in shooting Finn or shooting Ray. Uh, Finn's only got one focus token left, so if he spends it on attack, wouldn't have it on defense for the revenge shot. You say Denga doesn't like stress, but he's actually probably going to be turning it uh, the right way this turn. And he has got contraband cybernetics. So he could just, you know, do whatever move he likes here and still take an action. Looks like Finn is uh, not electing to shoot, and that always feels like a really good, uh, really good feeling for the uh, the Dengar player having flown Dengar an awful lot in 1.0 when your opponent elects not to shoot. Yeah, the orange dice do look nice. I was going to steal them at the start of the game, but I decided not to. Well, this is it. Like, you know, Finn absolutely could have taken a shot there into Dengar. I might have chipped away the last shield and maybe done a damage card. But who's to say that Dengar doesn't just roll double evade there? And, I mean, Finn is, well, was, was strained as well, or is strained currently. So, you know... Might have got two evades, but could quite easily have taken another damage or two there. I think it's going to get a bit cosy in this corner now. Uh, I mean, Kaz can come round on a hard turn quite nicely. Uh, Finn will probably come in for a bit of a block, as will Ray, and then obviously Zizi can turn as well. The party bus can turn in. Uh, has got that debris to consider. Um, and we'll see how quickly... Uh, Lee can go here to go forwards and uh, see if she can coordinate. I think she, uh, I think no, her her three, her banks won't be all blue yet, will they? Yeah. <laughs> I've been right. chatting away. Yeah, I've been chatting away, and it's not working. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't I, realize. I did. I did wonder where you disappeared to. <laughs> Never mind. So I was um, saying that the um, the escape craft could uh, uh, coordinate the party bus so it can do the turn over the debris. Yeah, yeah. So and if it it's got perceptive, so it'll have double focus, so it can still <laughs> um, lando, can't it? So uh, I say it's it's quite a nice feeling as the Dengar player when your opponent who mm. has a shot against you decides not to shoot you. Oh yeah, I, was, I, I must have cut off there because I said I'd call you a bad person for flying a lot of Dengar in 1.0, but I also flew a lot of Dengar. Yeah, all, all the cool kids did. Yeah, we'll say cool kids who play <laughs> with plastic spaceships. Okay, so it looks <laughs> like we've got uh, a three bank uh, with Bosk, and actually with the 180 degree arc, that's probably just as good as doing the hard turn because you don't need to bring your yeah. front, front arc around as, as heavily. I always kind of forget about that big big arc. Not sure we'll get a swarm tactics this turn, mm. though, but he will shoot before Finn anyway. Sif Taker's rules just saying in chat they, got, they missed Willow tonight. I'm afraid everybody missed Willow tonight. There was no, <laughs> no uh, uh, stream bombing or anything. She's tired out. She's been at uh, school. So it looks like we've got the sloop from Ray and has overlapped the debris cloud as well. Ray doesn't really care too much, so she'll take two stress on this, but could boost if she really wanted to, or uh, I, I don't suppose she'll rotate her arc. She might. The, the hand is hovering there. I'd be surprised if he did. Yeah, I mean, you've got to feel that Dengar is going to be in the front, front arc somehow. I suppose it, Finn is there, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. It, it's not. Well, Denga can't stop, so he's going to be. Coming, no. there's going to be some forward motion there. Zizi comes round. Uh, did a 
Uh, turn left so that does clear the stress. We'll focus. Could boost if she wants. Boosting might block a K turn from Dengo if that. Dengo stressed. Uh, contraband cybernetics. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't see that move though. To be honest. Uh, I I don't. I think it would be a waste. Uh, saying that though, I mean, uh, I have seen players like dial in um, a red maneuver on a stress ship with contraband cybernetics. Oh. Got... I think that must have been the role for the ray. Yeah. Um, so I have seen players. Uh, so it was a two forward to clear the stress. Um, I have seen players uh, dial in a red maneuver and choose not to contraband cybernetics if it, it would be blocked, and yeah. then just do the white two forwards, uh, which works quite well. Uh, so Dengo has just bumped into Finn, uh, which is not terrible, uh, although it looks like Kaz and Ray potentially will be shooting. Uh, Dengo's arc is out the side, but would... Uh, no, Ray it says Ray is not obstructed. So range two out the side. Uh, for double, nice. crit, double crit, obviously, because we're Dengar. <laughs> uh, so, Ray rolls a blank. Just going to spend one of the force. Yep. Yeah. You have to, don't you? Because you don't want to take that crit, so just a shield. Yeah, last shield's gone. I guess so now it makes you think twice about shooting him. Yeah, I mean, he can't revenge shot to the side, so Ray will be Oh, safe. yeah, sorry. That's, it's, that's it's just going to be as easy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we've got a hit crit. Is that a hit crit? Spend a force. Hit, hit crit. Yeah, hit, hit crit. So that's all Ray's force gone. Mm -hmm. He's going to spend his force. Yeah. Just take one, just on his shields. It seems good. And he's taking a stress to regen the force. Yeah. Uh, ZZ is range two, and this is not an advanced optics A wing, so no adding if there's a blanket. So we've got two. Oh. So it's just hit hit a uh, blank and an eyeball. Yep. Yeah. So I I imagine ZZ will just say thanks and no thanks and take an evade yeah. token. He has done from the looks <laughs> of things. But uh, Dengar's still going to get a revenge shot here, even though you didn't do any damage. That's right. With an auto blast, I think that's two dice as well, isn't it? Uh, yes, should be. Because yeah, we're yeah. not we're not not bullseye. Uh, nope. So he may, he may as well spend that force as well for one. Well, not getting shot again. Kaz could be shooting. Oh, I forgot about Kaz. Yeah. So yeah, not not modified. So moving on to Bosk. Bosk can have Finn at range two unobstructed. Because uh, I imagine obstructed range two into ZZ with an evade and focus is probably not good. Oh, he's going to spend one to re-roll that blank. Oh, no, no, he is shooting because he gets trick shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And then focus that. So that's two crits. Two hits, two crits. He's only got two health left, hasn't he? Oh, so there's... Uh, so he's going to get four he's... evades. When, when, oh, yeah. he's, he's alright, yeah. He needed four to survive. Yeah. Possibly greedy, but I guess I guess you're hoping there that the A-Wing rolls two blanks. Yeah. So Kaz is going to... Or, get... or even, even one blank, because he can turn that crit into two hits. No, but what I'm thinking is he had the evade token. So if he rolled one blank, then the evade token, which is what he did do. So you need two blanks there. Oh, uh, yeah, see, I thought you meant... At the final duel. Oh no! I mean, if he rolled two blanks, the A wing was dead because that crit becomes two hits. Mm. Uh, but that's what he needed, didn't he? Uh, did we get any damage there from Kaz? I don't think so. Can't see any damage cards on Denga, so it doesn't look no. like we have. Uh, okay. So Leet's pretty out of the. Uh... He's out on his own there. Yeah, I mean, she's not coordinating anybody this turn. And needs to be a bit concerned, because like, Finn could just fly over the top of Denga here, Kaz can come forwards, and possibly just go and pick on yeah. uh, Leap for a bit. I mean, Leap's cheap, but... Gets yeah, her... it's nice to just three points, isn't it? Yeah, yeah get, gets her out of the game.
Yeah, they've been interesting. Uh, interesting game so far. Uh, so score wise, uh, it's still just forty two to D Demetrius and zero to Elliot. Uh, just double check. So yeah, we lost three shields. Uh, both torps have gone off Dengar. Yeah, the second one wasn't quite as tasty as the first one, was it? No. I mean, well, it stripped a couple of shields, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, so Ray's got a force now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, and Finn is half points, so. Be interesting to see what manoeuvre we get from Dengar this turn. Because he could see a sloop on to where ZZ is, but then I guess the party bus is also coming around that way, so you don't want to perhaps bump both your ships. Oh, yeah, because he can't sloop both ways anymore, can he? Uh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe he can't sloop. He, he can only sloop one one way. Uh, so, um, last time I played him... Yeah, he can only sloop to the left. It caught me out in that quick build. Remember at the start of 1.0 when there was the, the weird events? Hmm. One was a quick build, and it made Dengar like old Dengar, except he didn't have that sloop. <laughs> <laughs> so you could still see a 4k here, which I don't think would be terrible, because Ray's not going to be wanting to try and block that. I mean, she's double stressed, so she, she can't do the k turn, she can only do... Well, she ain't got k turn, has she? She's just got sloops. Sloops. So she could go four forwards, but I don't think that's a good manoeuvre, because surely that party bus is coming around. I can see Dengar going to turn around. Now is like quite a nice time to pop that contraband. Yeah. Yeah, contraband 4K and see what's in the front arc and say hello. And then sets him up nicely just to do blues. You know, yeah, ch chasing back up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Elite's come in and done a calculate action. Uh, yeah, Finn has flown over the top. Uh, all done a 3k, in fact, over the top of Dengo. Finn's not supposed to be stressed. <laughs> Sweat will be pouring. Sweat will be pouring out of him here. Eh? Yeah, I don't think he'll get a <laughs> trick shot from Boss though, so that's okay. Uh, Boss didn't bump though. Oh yeah. So nice. that's going to be a uh, double focus again. I bet that's one of them where he moved it. Was like, oh, I didn't bump. Yeah. So Kaz has gone three forwards and could uh, focus. Yeah, so it looks like the party bus hasn't got Finn. So I've got right down and had a little nosy. Mm. Yeah, so. Close one. Yeah. So Ray's come forwards. Now she could boost here if she wanted to go for the block. Hmm. But then you just I'm not, get, you I'm just, not sure you want to though, because you, you just, just asking range, for more dice, aren't you? Well that's it, you just get in range one of Bosk, which seems very brave. I was just thinking actually, the one thing that Kaz might be missing is advanced slam. Because that would be quite useful, wouldn't it? But Yeah, I didn't I always forget about advanced slam. And I guess as well, because she has not got a damage card, she can't do her explosion with wings because she hasn't got a damage card to expose. No. So you have to have one. Yeah, because it's part of the thing, and it? You have to flip a card. I think you can still do the slam. But just so you, you may can't... you may expose... Oh, no. That's what, yeah, you, you, you can do yeah. the slam, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can't get rid of the um, weapons disabled token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ZZ's just come round here and has flipped and oh, Dengar Ooh, has done the, yeah. uh, the signals loop, which does fit. I'm guessing that he's he... contraband. Uh, yep. He, he must yeah, charge has been done because he was stressed. Yeah. Charge has been spent, so. I guess you just focus or something. Oh, he can't actually. Yeah, he can still action. Yeah. Unless he's considering what he's doing. So he's put the stress on, so he's double stressed. But yeah. I think in this position, Denga does not really care. No. Uh, doing a focus, by it sings. Yeah. 
gives him more mods because he probably doesn't want to um, take the stress to recharge them all again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's going to want to start maybe clearing some of that stress. Seems good to spend the focus for three. Uh, Ray doesn't get a good. Uh, so it's only got one force left if yeah. she does this, which she is doing. Yeah. So what's that? Two damage on Ray? Yeah. That should be. No, not quite half point. I think one more. I imagine it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Because if see him, Ray shoots here. It's like shoot Bosk. He's got all the shields still. He's not bothered. Um, I'll shoot Dengar and he'll shoot you back. Looks <laughs> um, like the range one shot is coming out from Ray. Two crits nice. and a blank. Uh, no force to modify. Uh, nope. I think there's a target lock. Yeah, there's a target lock. Uh, so hit two crits into Dengar. Dengar rolls defense <laughs> to evade. Oh, still a yeah. crit. Maybe a weapon failure. <laughs> uh, fuel leak. Got a fuel leak. Now is a revenge shot. Uh, what does he think? Oh, he's. Uh, I'm surprised. Hmm. I'm surprised. Yeah, you must have forgot. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at it because obviously the turret's pointing on the left hand side as well, so I guess it was just the auto blast turret out the front. Yeah, but he would still get his revenge, wouldn't he? Because you're in his front. Yeah, arc. unless he checked arc, and it, I, I didn't see if the A wing was in bullseye. And maybe he's saving it for this. No? Okay. I forgot. Although, I guess you got Finn as well, maybe. Yeah, I mean, now seems like it would have been a good time to really push the hurt into Ray. Yeah. So, boss That's gets three, three. Uh, two hits and a crit because we've got Greedo. So, it's going to be. Is that a blank? An eye. So, that's four hits now. Cause he'll spend the crit to be yeah. another one, I guess. So that is half yeah. points. One, two, three, four. That's Ray on two hole. See, if he'd have remembered the auto blaster shot, that could have been a dead Ray. Yeah. Oh, luckily the thing's out. I guess it's trying to make him think about the shot, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, we'll see. So there's only one hit because there's no tokens yeah. here to modify. Three. Three. Well, it could be three obstructed into the party bus as well. And if he, yeah, he's turned that gas card, yeah. so he took the shot into boss there, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> A little range three. These are the ones that do the damage. Mm. <laughs> so this is two hits. It's always two hits like this. <laughs> range three through a rock is two hits. Yeah. No. <laughs> Got to calculate, though. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Closer than I expected. I think they're actually thinking about it. Taking the revenge shot into Ray would have been a good thing because then gets her yeah. out of the way as well. Because you could see a block here. Yeah, uh, I, I think even... that was um, a big missed opportunity there. Interesting to see what Boss does here. I mean, Boss might be might be worthwhile doing a stop here. But otherwise, because if Boss moves, it might open up a space for the sloop. Yeah, from Ray. But then does Denga care? Because Denga will still shoot Ray first and kill her, probably. Yeah. And Busk wants his tokens, I guess. But I don't think it, I don't know how good it turns. I think it turns hard. Its turns aren't very good, are they? If I remember right. Um, I, think that I think it's got. It, it does have a hard one, but it's red, I think. Two sets, I'll tell you. Uh, so Bosk is hard. No, no hard one. Hard two is red, and the hard uh, three is white. I suppose you don't, you don't necessarily need to really do the hard two, do you? you can 
just turn it arc a little bit with like a one bank or something. I guess I'd try the one bank, see if I could get it to fit. It's a bit close. It just probably fits. What for Bosk? Yeah. Hmm. Because you don't, the hard two is good for swinging your arc round, but the, the arc's massive, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, I get that. Um, well, I think you, you, I think your arc would be fine with the red stop, and I, I get you, what you're saying about doing the actions and the tokens. No, because he, he is, with that perceptive and Lando, he is pretty accurate. I think he, we haven't seen him not get no, but I, like, I can't, four I, hits. Uh, I mean, I mean, the one bank probably does fit. Probably does. Like, if you're going to be stressed with no actions anyway, you may as well try for the mm. the, the cheeky move and possibly get one. That's the problem with the escape craft. It's just so much slower than the other two ships, especially because its coordinates uh, stressful. Well, this was the issue with... Um, it was Boba Fenn, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, uh, used to see it, and yeah, Bobber and Fenn would they'd get the coordinate for the first turn or two, and then just be at the other side of the board. So I tended to play. I used to keep, I used to coordinate Bobber into the first engagement, and then bring the escape craft off to do Fenn as he was coming in, for like a second round. But yeah. then after you'd got like maybe two or three coordinates off, it was just here, opponent have some points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could see it's easy maybe bumping into him here. Okay, so we have got the hard two. Yeah. Oh, it's contraband. Ah. Thought they both had it. Nice. Yep. So Kaz has done a hard three. Don't think Kaz has got a shot uh, into Lee, and Zizi's gone two forwards. We'll probably have to focus and boost uh, just to be able to get a shot on Lee here. But Lee's undamaged, isn't she? So she's yeah not too fussed. And she is relatively cheap. Mm. And all important question then is what Ray's done. Oh, that's not a good place to be. Um, so bumps Denga, but Bosk is sat there smiling sweetly. <laughs> And Deng so Dengar does bump into Ray, so Ray can't shoot Dengar. Admittedly, Dengar can't shoot Ray, but I don't think we're that fussed. So Deng no. So Dengar can shoot Kaz, or uh, no, probably can't shoot Kaz actually because of range. Is yeah, it? he's probably shooting um, Ben. Any swarm tactics, Bosk as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's that's a dead Ray yeah. before he even shoots. And, and, and turn, turns uh, one of those hits to a crit just because he can, and then can boss that crit into two hits. Cause well, you want you want to change it into the crit as well to flip that Greedo charge, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect that to come. That was a good move there. Yeah, no, nice. Uh, yeah, Ray is dead. I just noticed as well that Bosk has still got 13 health. <sighs> I, I think it's a bit of an uphill struggle now, because Ray is... The damage dealer, isn't she? Um, I mean, this particular Ray build isn't as much of a damage dealer as, say, a, a Rose Finn one, but it, yeah, she's still rolling a lot, of, a lot of what does. So it looks like he's... Yeah, he's added an eyeball. Because he, he can take the straight now. He should have two there, because mm -hmm. he's got perceptive. Um, but he will be strained. Mm-hmm. But no damage. No. And next turn, he can easily do the blue, can't he? So ZZ has got Lee mm. in uh, rear arc. Range one. Don't think there's a token, though. There should be a focus, shouldn't there? There, there should be. I saw him focus. Yeah, it maybe, it's, have... maybe it's on the ship. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't matter anyway. No advanced optics. Yeah, there it is. It's on the actual ship. Yeah, and Lee's absolutely fine. Yeah. That was a bit of an unlucky run. It shows just how um, that optics is needed 
Yeah, I mean, in that particular role, she would just spend the calculate, I guess. Uh, so Kaz is now looking at Bosk, probably range two. Actually, Bosk is the only target. Yeah. No reason not to shoot, but there's no mods here. Uh, so yeah. two damage. Bosk loses two shields. No reinforce. So he could actually spend one of his focus to re-roll that. Oh, with Lando. Yeah. Because it, it, it just says, after you roll dice. So it looks like range one from Finn into Bosk. <laughs> or a suicidal range two into Dengar, which <laughs> I can't imagine he'll take. I guess there's only two red dice back with auto blasters, but... Why give him the free shot? Looks like he's shooting him there. Uh, yeah, must be. Yeah. Can't, he can't spend that focus, though, because he's got the strain already. He rolled dice? Uh, I don't think there's any defensive dice. So, yeah, so he's rolled one eye, one crit. No, I mean, the defense dice have not been rolled yet. No, no, no. Tan seems to have stopped moving. Yeah, he's added to an eyeball. That's okay. why. Okay, added the eyeball, spent that, so for two hits and a crit. So he is double strain now. And there's two oh. eyes. Uh, but that does trigger the fuel leak on Dengar. Yeah. Uh, do you see what the crit is? Is that direct? It's not direct, is it? It is... Uh, when you defend, roll one fewer dice. Structural damage. Yeah. So will he remember Dengar's revenge shot? He seems to just forget it. Um, no, he's got it this time. This is it, and he's only minus one green, because it's whilst you're strained you roll one less dice. Yeah, yeah. Green. He'll clear... Oh. <laughs> so hit crit from Dengar. Uh... <sighs> So, what's that? An evade? Uh, hasn't it's a got crit. He yeah, hasn't got a focus. That looks like a direct hit. Yeah. That is a direct hit. Unlock. At least he didn't have to train, uh, clear that other strain. <laughs> 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 look at you, always looking at the, the bright side of life. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can just you can just recognise the text, can't you, on a direct hit? You look at it, you go, that's a direct hit, isn't it? And he's just like, oh. It's because she bumps up and goes, oh, no. So, I think this is looking uh, pretty bad for the resistance. Yeah, I'm really impressed with Bosk. Bosk with a little bit of help from Dengar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that swarm, but... swarm tactics is coming very useful. And who cares about Leap? She was useful in the first sort of turn... You know, and she's done a bit now. Actually, she might be able to negotiate around that debris field. And actually, uh, actually, no, both of them are stressed. There, so she can't call yeah. him. I think Dengar, Dengar's not stressed, is he? Yeah, he is. Because he, oh, he's um, got one left. Yeah, yeah I think I think I he couldn't... slooped, didn't he? And when he was, uh... I couldn't, I couldn't see it from the side I was on. Oh, it's fine. I mean, I think you know, it's not a terrible position to be in. Um, it's because um, whenever I play, I like to play as a red player. So whenever I'm watching this, I tend to go back to the red side. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think if you're Kaz here, you are very concerned. Yeah. Um, I don't know how good the the um, Bosk screens are. I imagine the pants, but you don't need to do much to the uh, blues. Sorry. Yeah, I imagine it's like one. Yeah, one bank is well, probably. There we we'll go. See. We'll see. Is he... Yeah, he's taking it off. So it's double focus, and a nice big, uh, you know, speed bump in front of Kaz potentially. Kaz has gone two forwards. Regrets life. I had to be half tempted to slam that hard too. There. <sighs> I guess it would potentially get you out of arc of Bosk, but. Yeah, he's doing it. Oh no. No, I just took the focus token. Uh, yeah, I'd have slammed there because you could have probably got um, 
the hard two, you're probably going to get a bump with Dengar into him. And Leet's only a little two dice gun. It all depends. I reckon Dengar will probably bump into the back of Bosk rather than... Yeah, so I don't know if he would have... He might have done. Uh, hard hard oh, to. Oh, do you know what I've just realised? He's out of arc. Yeah, auto blaster. Oh. Yep, that's another that... thing I was just about to say, but you beat me to it. Oh, and no, I think that's it'll be a range one auto blaster and swarm tactics, well, Bosk. He's gonna swarm tactics, box. But uh, you said it better than me. Sw- swarm, swarm tastic. English, English is hard, man. That sounds like an old art we need to make. Swarm tastic. <laughs> 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 Oh, well, uh, well, well played, Kaz. <laughs> yeah. And even this is like, you know, Leap might even get a shot. <laughs> yeah, range one, unobstructed. Very much out of arc. So we'll get three greens, but any crits are can't be evaded. It looks like he's checking them now. I've seen his hand go over our blaster just to check. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is it. So, three red dice. Uh, it's okay. It's just yeah, the one hit. Yeah, no target locks or anything. Got the advantage. fine there. Yeah. Now, boss, because I'm assuming he's swarm tactics. Yep. Yeah. This is the bad shot. This is the bad dog. This one's going to hurt. Especially if it's a crit. Uh, well, there will be, isn't it? Yeah. Three, though. Spend yeah. the focus. Three and a crit. So, the crit's definitely going through. Because he can't roll enough evades. Does get three evades. Probably considering where not to spend it. Because there is a fair amount of hole on these fireballs. And could repair one, I guess. But you've got to assume that's actually five damage. Don't look at that. Yeah. Crit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So probably uh, assume bosking the damage for two. Yeah. Okay. Could have been cheeky and gone right, take that crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's shooting Leet. Range one. Uh, what's Leet's PS? Three, Three. Or two. Yeah, so he still gets the plus one dice against Leet because there's only two damage cards on her at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, she is two. Yeah, it's only when the damage cards exceeds the initiative. Only one crit, and this is probably the fireball sometimes, is there only two red dice basic. And it's fine. Yeah. So And he's uh, gonna shoot shoot back as well. Yeah. We have a calculate token. There's <laughs> <laughs> three dice at range one, it's not too bad. No, 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 absolutely. Oh <laughs> 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 little leaf. Oh, uh, gets the double of eight. Yeah. Takes takes a crit. Uh, but panic, panic pilot. Bike. Yeah. Oh, oh my word. Me. Oh. I mean, I could see Leet just jumping in there, coordinating one of them big boys. Probably Dengar. Well, you know what that is. I mean, that's that's half points on that fireball as well. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you, I think you could coordinate. Bob, uh, I'm sorry, Dengar, I'd be tempted by Boss because he might clip a gas cloud here, depending on what manoeuvre you do. Like, you could just go straight here with Boss, and I think he can fly past that gas cloud. But, yeah. And I don't think he'll clip the next one, so maybe just chuck him forwards and just say surprise easy. Yeah, because Kaz is very restricted now. Because I, I don't think he can clear a stress this turn without going over the gas cloud. Although, oh, you know, sit, yeah. sitting in behind the gas cloud isn't necessarily a bad decision, you know, because he's getting that free... Think, um, yeah, no, I think that's possibly the best evade. best place for her because she can't do an action, can't slam. Uh, the dial isn't that great on a fireball because obviously there is the slam there so it can't give them yeah. too many maneuvers so possibly like a three or four forwards here and just yeah just get your base over the other side of that gas cloud yeah I think that's what I'd do well, you've got to assume if you go slow here that you're probably going to bump no, I can't imagine Leet's doing anything more than a one forward or maybe a two forward
You know what I was thinking about earlier today? Because I've got um, uh, Ryloff coming up soon. So that's the Polish uh, Gold Squadron podcast, Galaxies of Oh, yeah. So uh, as I made top 32, I've qualified for Coruscant. Uh, so I think I might just take a fun list to uh, Ryloff. Is there, um, is there any bonus for winning it? Like... In the uh, next one. No, you get more prizes from this event, like the, the qualifier yeah, yeah. event, but there's nothing extra. You don't get a buy or anything like that. Um, oh, I'd, I'd just take something fun then. I know. So, you yeah. never know. You, you might hit gold. Yeah. I think the party bus needs to come out. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been playing around with lists. I mean, admittedly, I was playing around with <laughs> lists with three of them as well, but, you know. <laughs> You've got issues, Matt. Well, Ooh. I've got three of them as well. So, oh. Well, I'll, I mean, I'll be honest, I've got three of them as well. I mean, the bump's not terrible here, because uh, you're not doing action anyway. Uh, you uh, are out of Bosk's art. It all depends where Dengar lands, I guess. I, I think Dengar's going to do a one forward and bump, and that's not a good spot, because then you're in his bullseye. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to tickle. Four dice. Uh... Oh, no, one bank. Oh, that, that bullseye is probably still... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got the force of all, so he's got a little bit of a soft mod And he's there. probably got range one there to uh, make <laughs> Bosk at six as well. Oh, I know. I've just realised he's got no shields as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think it's just out from that spawn then. Oh, no, it must have been in. No trick shot though, so just just the three red dice this time. Oh, and of course, here goes boss. Oh. Three, three three crits to the face. Oh my goodness! Uh, uh, well, oh. is easy. Unfortunately, has evaporated. I mean, this is pretty tough on Elliot uh, at the end. Here, yeah, but um, I think uh, Demetrius has has got a very uh, tricksy scum list with that party bus, and it's just just wrong <coughs> too, too much damage for the resistance to tank. Yeah, I've, I've just he's just got some. I think it's Demetrius just guessed well. Yeah, you know he's put his ships in the right spot at the right time. I think they they carrying on seem to stop. The thing is though, is it, I mean you could call it, but I think at this point you might as well just let let him roll Dengar. I think I think you'd call it yeah. at the end of the turn potentially, but you, I, I, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't call it halfway through the combat. I mean, as well, is Dengar even in arc there? Uh, it, Looks yeah, like it's not rolling crits anyway. He's so. got three hits and an ice. He's going to spend it for four. Hey, X Wing Dad, Phil's in the chat. All right, Phil, and he's just popped. Hi, Phil. <laughs> uh, no, not quite. Five, six hull, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, she has got Dengar at range one. Is she going to go out on her own terms? Shoot Dengar. <laughs> Say, yeah, what what have you got? Yeah, shooting Dengar. May as well. Uh, yeah. On we crit. crit. I mean, it's a league game, so it might be MOV. Crit yeah, goes it. through. So do, no, was he five hole or six hole? Six. Do Dengar. Yeah, so he can't get He's pop. got six. Uh, damaged, en damaged engine. Yeah, but revenge shot. He's going to take the stress, I bet, to get... The... Yeah, he has done. Uh, yeah. yeah, three damage. Against the two dice, isn't it? Mm. Yep. I think he should get yeah. plus one. Should he use five, five damage versus PS6? If he adds another one. Um, yeah, he's going yeah, to he's he's... Yeah, roll the extra dice there, because he does get it. Uh, ah, still, it still, doesn't still change. dead. Uh, should we pop that, in? Let's pop into. Yeah, the that that was a bit of a bloodbath at the end, weren't it? I think after Ray went, it was. Let's pop onto the table. And hard work. Them. Yeah, yeah. The dice stats. How do how do, do that? Hey, hey guys, uh, we're we're back. Uh, wow. Hello. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, wow. Elliot. The dice uh, were <laughs> the dice were hideous. Um... <laughs> I, I think uh, we were just saying, like uh, you know. I think the the tricksy parts of the list that Demetrius has got there, just the the dice manipulation with Bosk and yeah. you know, the sw the swarm tactics as well. Uh, it's just really well flown by Demetrius and just yeah, very much time. You know, getting time on target with those that red dice, just putting through too much damage for the resistance list to tank. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, I, uh, yeah, I, very good. I mean, I've been flying at like a, a fat ray with Finn and and stuff, but even I was like, yeah. oh, he just wouldn't be able to tank all that damage. So, uh, no, no, uh, no. yeah, commiserations, but yeah, um, that's good. yeah, well played, Demetrius. Thank you, guys. I mean, my dice were hot. There's there's no argument about that. But... Yeah. No. Right, it was summed up in that last turn. What was it, Bosk? Oh, he's like, oh, he's only three red dice this time, but it was hit two crits yeah. and Greedo <laughs> that hit to a crit. Oh, yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to be honest with you, this list, um, I, I was saying wow. that at the beginning, I'm extremely happy with how Bosk has been doing in every game I've played him. Uh, he's, he's always putting so much damage through and he's tanking it as well. Yeah, the, partnering something effective with him because I, I you know, I, I was a bit lucky with the rolls today on uh, on Dengar, but Dengar is 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 not a great partnership for Bosk apart from the initiative six uh, swarm tactic. Yeah. I wish I had a better option. I've tried it with uh, with Han, uh, very very oh. mediocre stuff. I've tried it with Dengar a couple of times. Um, I, I'm I'm looking for a better option. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, he's called mm. Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we, Elliot, Elliot was just saying that. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, the Boba Fett doesn't want to be range one of uh, of someone else. He wants to just like fly off, and yeah, it, it, you probably wouldn't get the swarm tactics off of Boba Fett that much. So I think Dengar's probably okay. Yeah, I yeah. actually predicted your good dice because I said when we played last time, yeah. your dice was so horrendous. It only seems fair. Karma. I was telling Elliot, it, 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 it is totally not his fault. It's your fault. <laughs> I got on the wrong side of that one, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, thank you for the game, Ed, Elliot. I'm yeah. Sorry. How many I'm points sorry. did I score if I did score any? I got Oof. half a Dengar. Uh, you did half yeah. on Dengar. Yeah, so I've got you down at 44. Oh, God. That's... <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I, well. It was, it was uh... a fun game to watch, though. That's good. Yeah, I'm after. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rewatch that and read the Twitch. Um, yeah, yeah. Read the Twitch comments. Yeah. I, I yeah, actually like yeah. your list. It's quite interesting. Yeah. You... Uh, go on. I think I think a lot of um, little Republic salads have been going around recently. So there's, there's definitely something there. I think. I yeah. Think the, so so Ray fits would... into a lot of four yeah. ship um, four ship builds now. It's like a seventy point ship. Yeah, Ray fits cost. in there. That wasn't easy. that wasn't bad. What, what I was telling Elliot is I would probably have preferred, I know that it works really well with Finn, the, the optics, but I think that ZZ is more likely to, yeah. to be going all around the board and doing her thing. And uh, You know what, that's exactly I, what I picked up at the start, and, and having been a resistance player myself, and yeah. I, 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 I can see advanced optics on Finn, but I think at the cost of, if you can only fit one in the list... Personally, I would put it on the A wing. Um, yeah, that's maybe what I try next. Yeah, well, you know, this is it. It's 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 personal preference, but I think you're probably with the double focus on Finn, he can still get that manipulation. I mean, I know it obviously helps you if you've got a blank and an eyeball as such, but yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, there's just a couple of turns I think where ZZ really missed that advanced optics, just being able to add that extra pipper damage. Yeah. Do you know that? So with with the announcement of the brute today. What I noticed is that one of the spaceships that they are have revealed has an option of giving two strains. Okay. And then I realized in the game that we had today that if Finn had taken a second strain, it doesn't really impact his dice, I believe, right? Nope. Because the ship is strained no it's, matter how many. You can only get rid of one at a time. Yeah. Can you? Because it's a red token, so you get rid of... So you, you get, get rid, rid of one, one strain or one, one strain. One strain... Strain per blue move, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it just keeps you strained a while longer. Yeah, or two mm. shots. Yeah, yeah, but like you say, regarding the 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 green dice, once once a ship is strained, so no matter how much strain it's got, it is then mi minus one green. Uh, so, yeah, uh, same as the tractor rule, isn't it? Yeah. Does that yeah. does that scale up on ship size? So does a medium ship have to have two strain? I don't think no. so. Does it? No, no. no. maybe no, they no. could change that in the future, but yeah, maybe, but yeah. no strain. Yeah. Can't can't say I've seen like many large ships get strained as such. I suppose with gas clouds now no. there's a chance, but yeah. Uh, no, but no, thanks for coming on, guys. Uh, thanks and, for having us. Yeah, yeah it was an ent good. entertaining game, which is always you know good to have on, uh, and slightly different list than we we see normally yeah. as well, which is uh, always a well, uh, plus point. That, the, the reason I wanted to come on the on the stream was to actually put Bosk on the camera. Uh, so <laughs> see how, uh, yeah, absolutely. How 
Yeah, I mean, I I, I do own uh, three uh, proper like real life models of the YV triple six. So yeah, so it's always same, same here. Yeah, it's always nice to, <laughs> nice to see them on the table. Um, and I said, uh, you know, because I've uh, uh, I'm playing in Ryloth, but I've already qualified in uh, for the the final yeah. for GSB. I'm actually looking for a fun list to to fly, so I might have to uh, sort of nick this or something similar. So this uh, box build is nice, yeah. Or you can put like Zuckus and Fall on and stuff on it as well, but. This one's quite good. Oh so, yeah, I mean that Lando trigger was really nice. So, yeah. Fun story. I on the last round of the last GSP, I had an almost mirror match. I had a Torani Bosk, uh, Genesis Red, and Lead, and my opponent had Bosk, Torani, Genesis Red, and Lando, and he had uh, the party bus Bosk, and uh, I, I managed to win that game quite quite comfortably because this. I find is a much more efficient Bosk. Uh, obviously, Bosk can do nasty stuff with four Lom on it and, and Zucus, but uh, this one guarantees three or four hits. Uh, one of them is going to be a crit, and then the party starts in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was impressed about how accurate it actually was. I was impressed. It's made me want to put it on the table. Yeah. It's like old, good old K4 Bosk. You know, you get your focus and your luck. Cool. Well, uh, thank you, yeah, both again for coming on the stream. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we'll see you guys again soon, and best of luck with the rest of the uh, the Sift Taker League. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah, thank you. We will call that a night then for the stream. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, uh, yeah, if you've not uh, already done, please follow the channel and you'll get uh, go live notifications uh, for any future streams we're doing. The games will be live on, uh, well, be up on Twitch for a good couple of weeks and we will get them added to our YouTube channel. So please feel free to um, uh, pop along to our uh, YouTube channel and give us a subscribe there as well. It'll be appreciated. Uh, otherwise, that's it for this week and hopefully we'll be back next week with another couple of games. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.